Hello and welcome to May 24th Alphas IAU at 43%. Let's look at the chart. Here it is 43%. It was a pullback. We are at 45 the other day. But here's really the strange thing that happened. They had a excuse me. They had a reverse split. So whoever had, let's say, 20 shares of this stock now owns only 10 shares. And they so you see that the value close was Yesterday, 1772, double that comes up to about 35, and that's what it cap 3593 today. So, how that affect our options? Not really much. You know, right there, you can see right there is the reverse. We have 100 shares. Now we have 50 shares of the of the option, but the values and the relativity all stays the same. So it's not something to concern to really worry about. The only thing that does will cause a problem is our stop. Our stop is way down here, and until I'm able to get, until I'm able to get, until I'm able to get a dipper low up here, that stop is stuck down there. Now, the price crashing down all the way down here, and then losing us, 50, taking us at 50% loss on the option, or even maybe and wipe this out, wipe out our profit, plus take a loss on the on, on the uh, two hundred dollars and five that we got into the trade. Not likely. No, we will see maybe some hovering along here, and then eventually, within the next two days, three days, we'll four days, we'll get a get a dipper low here, and then we'll move our stop here. This is till until this is this is July. Now, like I said earlier, if this hobbles along and gets to the sixteenth of June, we would then go to the last bar low and just quit the trade. So that is it for IAU, and it is in positive territory, $43 at $90. And uh, our, the majority of our money is still in cash, so we have a pretty good uh, foundation. But remember that idle money makes no money, and we are doing weekly stochastic scan. We're going to run the scanner and see if there's anything picked up for today. That takes us over to uh, Walgreens. Now, Walgreen, uh, their situation is, uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, it's much easier. So, uh, Walgreen is, uh, does has a dipper low right there at uh, on the 20th of May, and uh, we're just waiting it out. Uh, we are already planning our Elvis shift for June 1st, and the June 1st Elvis shift, I think, the instructions are written. Oh, I apologize. The instructions are written on IAU. So uh, here we go. The um, instructions for IA for the Elvis shift coming up in June is we're going back to our trend stochastic scanner as and drop the weekly. The weekly has uh, performed, but unfortunately, I, we're not participating in any of the opportunities that are happening in the, the marketplace. So uh, Elvis Schiff is we're going to go back to the STO trending scanner, which means therefore that the uh, 10 EMA must be trending in the direction of the stochastic. So if the stochastic is trending up, the EMA must also confirm that is a uptrend. And that's what the trend stands for. We are also going to move the stop to the EP once the candle has cleared the entry price. So the stop will then become the EP. And the third is that we are going to take profit. Once we hit that third marker, we're going to grab and take profit. Uh, we have seen too many opportunities where we hit the third ratio, did not take profit because we're using the dipper low exit for establishment. Uh, and the result is that we're into the trade one or two extra weeks longer, sometimes too long, and we have time decay. I did mention that in the past when we first got into the three to one ratio system, that the advantages of taking profit right at that three to one, even if it just touches it for the slightest nanosecond and the computers pick it up and you're able to collect your cash. And it's a lot better than sitting in the trade for two or three more weeks. And eventually maybe you even have to make more profit at the end of the three weeks. But why? Why wait out that three weeks? It becomes money back in your trading capital and your trading capital, which is your buying power right there can 
they will now to take other opportunities during that three week time that you're still waiting for a dipper low to occur. So that was the whole idea of the experiment is to see does it work? Uh, it did work. Did it make money? Yes, it did make money. Could have been better? Yes. That's the whole thing. Remember the three, uh, I'll say, affirmations in trading is what did you do right? What did you do wrong? And what you can do better? So when the trade goes against you, you look at it and say, honestly, did I follow the rules? And if you follow the rules, that's it. There's nothing else you can do about it. It is what it is. But if you didn't, then you need to discipline yourself to follow the rules. Okay, what that is, let's go on to run the scanner for today. Uh, right here. Oh, there's the, there's the TIM EMA, which is what we're going to be using starting on, on June 1st. But let's run it today just to see what it would do. I'm not going to, I'm not going to take the results. I'm still going to stick with the, oh, this is the other one. This is the, the, the original one. Let's go ahead and load up. The, this would be the stochastic uptrend. This is the one that we're going to start working with next week on June 1st. And uh, let's go ahead and run it just to see what the results would have been if we were that one week ahead. Only Nike. Now, we are going to load what we're still doing. Now, the reason I don't shift horses in the middle of the stream is because, weekly uptrend, is because of the fact is that I want to have that data to go back and say, okay, what what did this what did this trading strategy do for a month. Now, a month is not a lot, but at the same time, it gives us some kind of benchmark of the ROI. The biggest problem or the biggest situation that I have with a lot of the, all the trade schools, they talk up big about their trading strategy, but they don't show any ROI. And yes, some of them do, but then you got to be careful if they're cherry picking. This is why this is the daily video. Once this is recorded, it's knocked into history, and I cannot change it unless I delete the video. If I delete the video, then I'm not being honest to myself in the context of trading. So you can see that we have nothing for the weekly uptrend. And now we're going to go ahead and load up the weekly downtrend and close up the commands there so we see and now we'll run it and this is the we oh this is the phoenix account i forgot to change accounts let me change over to the alpha account which is what works i have here the phoenix account is a private reserve and that is for my inner circle that we discussed nothing there so now let's see if we have used the stochastic downtrender there it is and on the alpha account and see if, if we can remember we had a, a, the sto for the trend did come up with nike and we have nothing for the down so that is the conclusion of today's report oh well let's go to numbers on the uh, account so where are we in relation to the spy so here come up the count the uh, calculator uh, we ended up at 6670 today 6670. A majority of that is just all cash. There's nothing. That's not going to change much. 5553 was our benchmark to start the year. Divide that 5553 by the percentage, and we come up with 20.6. So nine becomes five. Five becomes another, and then 20.6. Where is our SPY? Our SPY is at 11.3 or 11 point and a quarter. But the bottom line is that the strategy, even though we only have two trades in play, it's still beating the SPY, and that is what becomes important of what you're doing onto the market. But that said, is a conclusion of today's report for the Alphas uh, AIU at 30, 43%. I thank you for stopping by, checking it out, and take care.